What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on, folks? You know what it is. It's Mr. Warmack. I'm in the building. You see what I'm doing. I'm doing the video thing again. So, you know I'm coming out with some expounding on some type of topic. I'm trying to drop some knowledge in you that you have the knowledge, so... Today I'm going to stick with my international thing. Today I'm going to go with another crisis that we talked about before, Argentina, which we talked about, and we didn't talk about Argentina in the sense we talked about it in a broader scale as far as like the South American uh, crises, uh, crises that are going down there, where uh, we have Venezuela now, I'll talk about Argentina, but how the cost of inflation in Argentina has eroded the regular Argentine, Argentinians, that's how they say it, Argentinians, their buying power. Uh, this was, uh, they defaulted on debts, like we, they were just in our Supreme Court, or our, one of our courts, if you look this up, where they defaulted on our debt, and they were, you know, we're in our Supreme Court, it was up here recently. Uh, this is one of the weakest countries in the world now, as far as financially. And at one time, this was one of the richest countries in the world. This is where uh, Ava Peron, uh, Don't Cry From Me, Argentina, all that stuff came from. Uh, is now getting ready for another crisis. You know, uh, inflation, if you look at it, like I was like, like I said, a friend of mine, Gracias Amigo, slipped me this article and I read it over and it was, to me, it was astounding because I, I knew Argentina, Argentina was a, pretty stable place, you know, it, it was doing pretty good. And I saw this as like, you know, their inflation is slated to hit 40% in 2004. And that's because of the wages have gone, the wages have gone down by 10%. That doesn't, that's going, of course it's going to help for inflation, you know what I mean? And it's, it's been going, this, I guess it went down to 10, four months. Imagine, imagine you lose 10% of your paycheck in 10 months. If, if, if somebody on you lost 10% of your paycheck, you lose 50% of your marriages. I mean, it's how America is nowadays. Strong survive. Uh, the peso was devalued by nearly 20% in January. So imagine you imagine not only have you lost 10% of your money, your overall income, but out of that 90% that you have left, it's now even worth. 20% less than it was a year ago. So I'm just, and you wonder why inflation's up. And they're, uh, let me see, I, I just, it's just, it's, it's, like from what I see, it's getting worse, you know. Now people are either moving out of the country or what they're doing now is like I told you guys, I think I told you guys, what they're doing is they're doing the same thing Venezuela is doing. They're buying American dollars. Is I think it's the point now where I think it's illegal there too now because what they were doing is they were buying American dollars and they were shuffling them around and they were shuffling them. And nowadays you don't have to put them in an offshore account. What they do is they put them in an American bank. And with the interest growing in America, so they rather have American money grow interest here than have American money grow interest down there because they know things are hitting the fans so they don't know how their money's going. Like I said, to me, if I was if I had money like that, if, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm going to start being a foreign, oh, I'm already a foreign investor already. So let us get that clear. That's why I stay on top of my foreign stuff. I tell everybody, I want to tell you this now, you got to be more interested in what's going on in your street, your block, your neighborhood, your part of the city, your city, your state, the country. There's, there's a, it's a big world around here. And a lot of stuff that happens in this world will affect you. Now people say, well, how does it affect me? Look at the housing crisis that happened over there in Greece and Europe. That cycle, that domino effect us over here, and in turn off of speculation, a lot of people lost their houses, lost their jobs. It's just, it's, it's, that's how it affects you. You don't think it affects you, but like I said, a lot of you want to go. See, I keep, and a lot of, let me, let me sidebar here. A lot of people, you wonder why I keep looking over. Like, I have the, we, Believe it or not, this little funky operation here, we have a lot of nice stuff here as far as computer-wise. So we all internet this and that, we all link up, 
And over there, I got all a bunch of my team over there. We do our thing. Like, uh, like you just see me doing this. Okay? But I got to show appreciation. There's a lot more people besides me that, that do this. There's people out there, like I said, we do our research. We get our facts straight. We don't, like I said, if, if, I'm, if I'm saying something on this, you can bet it's been backed up by research. It's been backed up by, hey, X, Y, Z. It's been backed up by, hey, you go look at it. So... Argentina, man, it's mess. If you were foreign investment, now's the time to go down and get your money. So, I hope it cools out because I would like to visit it. I'm out. Peace.